Hi, um, Boston Potter here again, just doing another video. I'm going to show you everything I'm going to use. So I have Lobster Fest, it's a pottery glaze, and I have two fun stroke colors, uh, Black Lab in Nantucket Blue. I also have um, this new Simply Cottage, it's fairly new, Simply Cottage line. One is a bowl, it's got little waves in it, and so doesn't the mug. I'm going to do these two pieces. You don't have to do both. Uh, you need this little pattern here, and this is a pattern of uh, lobster claws. And uh, you're going to need a sponge, you're using a regular blue sink sponge. Um, I already cut out these two pieces, but I'm going to show you how I did it, because this is what I'm going to use to stamp. Um, makes it a little different than a rubber stamp. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. So I, I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to use a pencil to trace the pattern. You don't really have to trace the um, little um, tentacle things. We're going to put that on last. Now I got this pattern traced onto my tissue paper. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to trace it onto my sponge anywhere I can fit it with a Sharpie with a marker. Okay, so now I have this marker and you'll see that it goes through. Just fit it on your sponge. So I'm gonna just trace, I'm actually gonna um, do this piece because I already cut out those two pieces. So. so once you trace it, like I said, you need a darker marker because the fatter marker will trace through the tissue paper. Um, as you can see, it should look like this so you can at least you can at least see what you're cutting. Um, then you're gonna take your scissors. It's harder, like I said, to cut through a sponge that's already, you know, spread out and, you know, puffed up. But you can do it. It's not that bad. So this is my middle piece. Okay, so my three pieces are right here. I have my middle piece of my lobster and these two claws, as you can see, see these here. Okay, now I'm gonna apply using the soft fan brush, whatever brush you feel comfortable with, and I'm gonna apply three coats to this bowl and the mug. And when this dries, I'll show you how to do the sponging on it. do it on all sides um, cover the whole piece with three coats of this lobster fest pottery glaze okay so I'm gonna paint three coats on these two pieces let them dry and then I'll uh, show you the how to put on the uh, sponge. Okay, now I have my bowl, my mug, uh, my sponges um, that are cut out already. What I'm doing here, one looks different, is because you do want to start off with a wet sponge, so make sure you put it in water. You don't want to start off with a dry sponge. It's not going to be flexible. So you want to put it in water. Use the, I, um, you know, Squeeze it out so it ain't not, there's not a lot of water and it's not soaked. So I did that with all three pieces of my little lobster here. Okay, now I'm gonna take, they go, uh, they go like this. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush, 
probably like this, you know, like a bigger number of 14 brush or whatever brush you can, you can use to put this on. But you want to paint, you want to put the glaze, the black glaze. Now when this is fired, because it's um, lobster fest pottery glaze, what happens with this pottery glaze is these, these colors go on, the fun strokes go on very nicely on these non-reactive pottery glazes. They, they have the two-tone look, but they're, they accept fun strokes very well. And, um, but what it does do is it changes the color a little. So even though this is black, it's gonna, when it's fired, it's gonna, you'll see when it's fired, it's gonna come out like a brown. Um, make sure your hands are dry when you do this, because you don't want to get everything everywhere else. So, now, I have to go the opposite, because now I'm going this way with the, with the, um, the sponge. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my sponge on there. I want it right to the edge there. Now, I want to make sure I press it down, because the bowl kind of goes like this. So, you want to make sure you get the whole thing. Okay, so you're gonna do that. Now I'm gonna get the other one. You could, it, the paint takes a while to dry, so it's on a wet sponge, a damp sponge. So you can put this on and uh, on all three pieces and, um, and do this. You don't have to do one at a time like I just did. But you want your you know, claws to go the right way. So, okay, so that's the one I did, so now Actually, I'm gonna put this one, which is gonna be in the center here. Oops. And I'm gonna take this one, which is gonna go the opposite direction. And I'm gonna put it right here. You can cut these out. If you don't wanna use this design, you want bigger ones, you can do that. Um, I'm gonna put them on two sides of this bowl. If I wanted to do it, get a regular stamp, I could have, but I wanted that kind of spongy look with it. So I'm gonna do another one on this side here. Now remember, make, remember to make sure you push it down so that it's, um, so that it goes, so that it goes with the curve. Uh, I'm gonna do this one next. And then I'm gonna do my other claw. Put it in a little bit more so they look a little different. Okay, now, now what I'm gonna do is, I want it to kind of overlap the bowl. So now I'm gonna take this edge here and I'm gonna go backwards, like see this, this slob? So I'm gonna use this edge here and I'm just gonna extend the, I can use it on both of them. I just want to put a little bit there to go over my edge. Um, the same thing with this one. Just use a little bit of your sponge just to kind of go bring it over the edge. See the difference? So I don't want that edge to be like that. I want it to be like this. So just take a piece of the sponge. It doesn't even matter any piece of the sponge with the black on it and bring it over the edge. Just so you have that, okay? So that's my my lobster. Now, I'm gonna do some on this mug. Okay, now, make sure when you're doing this sponge, I'm just noticing, make sure you got, you know, that when you do that black, that it's on your edges there because you want your edge, you want it to have an edge. Okay, now I'm gonna lay this down. I don't want it to get dirty, so I'm gonna lay it on a paper towel. I'm gonna lay this down to do this. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna put my one claw here. And remember, you wanna make sure you kinda go down to the the bottom. 
and I'm gonna do my other claw here. Press it down, pull it up. I think that's good. I like that kind of spongy, bubbly look because, um, I don't know, it reminds me of something being in the water. So um, on the other side of the mug, I'm gonna have to hold it because it's not dry to lay it down. But on the other side of the mug, I'm gonna put this on top coming down and again um, if you can see this I'm gonna go over the edge a little bit I need to put a little more paint on make sure I get this on my two uh, claws okay now Do this side. Now I'm going to go over the edge. I'm going to do this one. There we go. So there's that one. Okay, so now I got one, one on the bottom side here and one on the top side coming down. Okay, that's it for my sponging. I can clean these off, I can reuse them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, throw them in my bucket of water. Make sure my hand, my, the tips of my fingers are not, doesn't have black on it when I go to do the rest of this. So the next process I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a toothbrush, I am gonna splatter some black and I'm gonna splatter some blue, this Nantucket blue. Now, I've never done this before where I splatted the Nantucket blue on the lobster red, so I don't know what color it's gonna be. We'll see, but I'm gonna try it. I think it'll look nice, but... So I'm gonna splatter my bowl. Uh, so it isn't so plain. Now, I'm gonna splatter my mug. Um, it's easier to wait till all the black is dry because then I could lay it down to do it. Um, maybe I'm gonna lay it down to do it. I'm gonna make sure I get some on the handle. Now, the, if you want bigger splatters, put more paint and just hold it back and splatter it. If you want smaller splatters, uh, you can, you know, let it, you know, use a lot of it and then you only have a little on your toothbrush, then you could go um, to use the, um, you know, when you splatter it, it won't, see all this paint on there? If you've got a lot of heavy paint on there, it's going to put bigger splatters. If you have, you know, less paint, it's going to put the little tiny splatters. Of course, my TV's in front of me and I can see it's spotted. So I'm sure I have, um, and it's just black. So I, of course I can just see the screen getting some paint on it. Uh, thank God it's not acrylics and it's just um, fun strokes. Okay, now you can also, I mean, make sure you get the top. If you wanna get the back side, you can do the back side. Um, I'm gonna rinse my toothbrush get off the blue and I'm gonna splatter a little black also on these okay so like I said if you can wait till it dries it's easier to put it down then the rest of that you left isn't so plain now if you want to just leave the plain lobster fest with the sponge look you can you don't have to splatter it I just think it's gonna give it a little bit more um, character to do that. Okay, now I'm gonna do the bowl with some black. Now, I don't know, I haven't done this before and fired it, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. This is, I'm doing it 
and I'm videotaping it as I'm doing it. So hopefully it comes out of the kiln and looks good. And that's it. If you want to do the back side, you can also. But I think I'm going to leave the 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 splatted the splatter on just the inside and not splatter the back side. Just leave it lobster fest. The same with this mug. I think I'm going to splatter the outside and leave the inside just lobster fest. So um, that's it. There's my two pieces. Um, you'll get to see the picture of them when they get up, come out of the kiln. If you want them right you know, lobster or write something inside. You could also cut out letters like that or use a regular stamp to, you know, put something on it um, that'll make it look nice too. So that's the lobster fest, or as I would say, not lobster, lobster, lobster fest. <laughs>